All right, I got like 18 unique tips for new motorcycle riders. These aren't like your regular tips. These are tips that are kind of unique. Does that make sense? <laughs> Okay, first one. Before you get home from a ride, make sure you stop by a gas station if you have time. If you're not in a rush to get home, just get gas before you get home. So that way the next time you go for a ride, you're not that guy that needs gas. I hate going out for a ride and the first thing I have to do is get gas. It's really annoying. Like I just got done suiting up, got all my crap ready, and the first thing I'm gonna do is ride around the corner and get gas. Just fill up before you get home. Okay, next when you get home, try to clean your chain if you have time. The chain's already hot. Stick your bike on a stand, grab a rag, grip that chain with a rag, and just spin the wheel. You can use a cleaner if you like, but definitely after a ride is the best time to clean and lube your chain. Next, buy oil filters in bulk. Changing your oil is not that hard, but sometimes finding oil filters can be really, really annoying. It'll also save you time, money, and gas, because you don't have to go to the dealership every time to get an oil filter. I have a ton of oil filters from different bikes that I've owned over the years. Buy a ton of these crush washers, too. You can reuse crush washers in a pinch. I've done it. Don't let anybody else tell you they haven't, but it's going to be a good idea to replace these every single oil change. If for some reason you need an OEM part, definitely check eBay first. There's a lot of small business owners who part out motorcycle parts on eBay. I've gotten really good deals on OEM fairings, stator covers, basically any part that you could think of is on eBay. You can save yourself a ton of money by buying OEM parts on eBay versus going to the dealership. There's a lot of gunk that builds up on the caliper pistons and if you don't clean those, your pistons can seize and it'll be a bad day for you. You might not endo, but basically your, <laughs> your brakes won't work and I have a buddy whose calipers actually seize while he was riding on the freeway. He was fine, nothing happened. Basically, the bike slowed down to a stop and it was all because he didn't clean his caliper pistons. I actually never started doing it until that happened to him. So you wanna clean your brake calipers and your pistons. All right, if you're going on a long ride, whether you're riding with somebody and especially if you're riding alone, have a friend, wife, family member, do a wellness check on you. Tell them like around the times that you're gonna be riding and around the times that you're gonna be stopped. If you have a route plan, take a screenshot of it and send it to them. There could be spots there that you'll break down and you don't have cell service. You could say something like, if you don't hear from me like around 6 p.m., can you please just send me a wellness check, whether that's a text or a DM. And if you don't hear from me after 8 p.m., be worried something like that I do that sometimes when I'm doing long rides but I haven't done a long ride in a long time so I have this visor hack that I posted a video of on TikTok. basically if you're rocking a tinted visor and you know it's gonna get dark by the time you get home you can actually carry a clear visor like on your side just like this of course you can cover it with a sleeve so it doesn't get scratched up essentially yeah you put it right here put your jacket on you're good to go somebody mentioned putting newspapers inside your jacket if you get cold as insulation honestly I can't remember the last time I used a newspaper but you can use like a trash bag like a, a big like 30 gallon trash bag poke some holes in it put your arms in like a makeshift rain poncho and put that underneath your jacket if it's cold you can also use rubber gloves under your gloves okay here's one if you're storing your bike in the winter people like to start their motorcycles i don't know why and i'll be honest i was guilty of it too don't start your motorcycle during the winter your bike will develop condensation especially on the inside of the motor and inside the tank condensation is not bad but the next time you go out on a ride during the next season your bike may run rough for a little bit until that condensation heats up enough to disappear okay battery maintenance if you don't have a battery tender and you're storing your motorcycle over the winter just unplug the battery and take the battery inside lithium batteries I heard don't like cold I heard this from snowmobile owners they actually don't use lithium batteries in their snowmobiles but acid batteries I believe just bring them inside if you don't have a tender if you're gonna be street riding don't take off your mirrors I know it looks cool it makes the bike look cooler it totally does at the bare minimum I would run a bar end on the left side the reasons for not taking off your mirror are obvious but here's an interesting one when you're stopped at a red light and there's no car behind you I always stare at the mirror to make sure I'm not about to get rear-ended when I see a car coming I'll even flick my brake light in hopes that they see me. Kind of like a hazard so that way I know they can see that I'm right there. Phones are dangerous, man. Driving and texting, it causes a lot of rear-enders. When you're stopping in traffic, 
Don't stop in the middle, stop either on the left or the right side. Sometimes you can keep the bike in gear and hold the clutch just in case you need to make a quick exit in between the cars. Being in between cars and traffic is probably the most dangerous spot for us as street Rossies. Can you imagine getting crushed in between two cars? If for some reason the unthinkable happens and you see yourself almost getting crushed in between two cars, just pretend you're Spider-Man and try to jump on top of the car in front of you. Tire repair kits. This thing has personally saved me on a long ride. I was on like a 12 hour, 300 mile ride one time and I got a hole. It was actually a big ass nail like this. Luckily some guy pulled up to the side of us. He said, wait right here, I'll be back. I'm gonna get my ramps, loaded up my bike. He took us to a gas station, I bought him a six pack and I fixed my tire with this and I rode another six hours back home. I've never used these CO2 cartridges, but if you can find a way to carry all of this stuff, maybe like in a pouch like this and throw it in the back seat, this may or may not save you. Okay, for my last one, uh, when you're tightening your axle nuts, do not over torque them. Uh, you're probably not gonna strip these big ass nuts. The problem with over torquing the axles, especially the rear one, you're gonna be putting a lot of pressure on your wheel bearings. And I've seen wheel bearings go out because people over torque their axle nuts. And your front wheel is actually held on by the pinch bolts in the forks and not the actual bolt that holds the axle. I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, I think that's 18. That's my video for the day. Hope you learned something.